At this moment in our history, there are only three scenarios for not only Putin, but for the whole world. Watch one of those three scenarios unfolding in the coming weeks and months. First scenario is that Putin during an economic forum in St. Petersburg was talking about the Russia's position. Putin directly and indirectly was saying that if the United States will leave Russia alone and stop interfering in Russia's business, then there will be no direct conflict between Russia and the United States. But there is one issue with this scenario. It will allow Russia to rise as a superpower. And this scenario is equal to TS elite and one world government's total destruction in the very short term. The second scenario is that if Putin's back people will win the Russian elections in the coming days, that means reshuffling of the Russian White House or Russian Duma, which means the death to the fifth column inside the Russian White House. That means privatization of all assets in Russia, which belong to the UK, EU and the United States elite. Those assets are valued over 1 trillion US dollars. World government is in very, very deep shit. I don't normally use quote profanity to describe things, but when the shoe fits, wear it. A rose by any other name is still a rose. Well, the New World Order being in deep trouble by any other name is still the same thing. World government has been constructed by a consortium of less than 20 banking families who have openly announced their plan to establish a one world government based on an anti-human, post-industrial, globalist ideology. This is such a triumph over them that all their hoaxes, all their lies, all their disinformation saying none of this planetary government stuff exists. The fact that all their propaganda has failed shows how much trouble they're in and how much credibility they've lost. Herman von Rupi and other former heads of the EU have openly admitted it's a world government. They write editorial articles calling for planetary government and carbon taxes. But then they think you're so ill-informed and so stupid. They come out on the news and say, tinfoil hats, none of it exists. There's no ruling elite. Nobody's screwing you over. It wasn't enough to get trillions in banker bailout money when they engineered the financial collapse 2008. They want 100 trillion every decade in carbon taxes alone. Just Google that. Davos Group wants 100 trillion in carbon taxes every decade. You'll get the London Independent. You'll get their statements. So I love it. I want to congratulate the whore media that has a 6% trust rate in Associated Press poll and the Congress that has a 9% approval rating in Gallup polls. I want to congratulate you for cutting your frickin' noses off despite your face. The whole world is moving closer and closer towards World War III as the United States continue to push Russia and Vladimir Putin into a corner. After the 18th of September, this world will be completely different. The historic events that will start to happen after the 18th of September, they will change this world completely. When it will be clear who won the Russian elections, then we will know what will happen in Russia and then we will know what will happen for the rest of the world. There are three scenarios. First, Putin's backed political parties, I am talking about those people who support Putin in Russia, will win. That means Putin's first action will be to take full control over the Russian central bank. If this will happen, that means this situation will lead to privatization of all the US and UK capital inside Russia. The value of those assets that belong directly and indirectly to the United States and UK is in trillions of the US dollars. The privatization of those assets will lead to total destruction of the US and UK economies. Second scenario is that Putin's backed political parties will lose the Russian elections. That means the United States will have full control over the Russian White House. 
which means, well, you can start picturing in your mind what will happen in Russia. Total collapse of Russian economy, World War III in Ukraine with Russia's direct involvement, total destruction of Putin's political forces. In simple terms, this is going to be a hell on this earth. Breaking News TV will keep you updated with the real news, where it's becoming increasingly hard to find it on YouTube. You can find all our best videos on Breaking News TV YouTube channel. I want you guys to remember that the Russian constitution after the 1991 was written in Washington as many other constitutions. You can even read your, your own constitution. If you live outside the US and UK, I am pretty sure that you will find in your country's constitution something that should not be there and that something was written outside your country. But you know, just read your constitution. Real facts speak louder than negative comments. According to the Russian constitution, Putin does not have real power inside Russian White House. For instance, if IMF says that pension age in Russia must be increased, and Putin will say that pension age in Russia must be decreased, the end result will be that pension age will be increased in Russia. It does not matter what Putin says, period. Putin's words, according to the Russian constitution, does not have legal power. But, on the other hand, according to the Russian constitution, if IMF says something and some politician will refuse to do it, he or she can go to jail. In this section in the Russian constitution, it states that, here, I am not making this up, I quote, if an international treaty or an agreement of the Russian Federation, that means if Putin fixes other rules than those established by law, the rules of the international agreement must be applied. In simple terms, that means IMF has more power inside Russia than Putin, period. Big heads will roll, big time when the war is on many people's minds at the moment. Just look at the real facts. This was the biggest news in Russia in 2016. But in the mainstream media there was only few lines about this event. This is Pricewaterhouse Cooper's office that was raided by FSB in Russia. Russia's investigative committee, the state body that investigates crimes, is conducting searches at the Moscow's office of PricewaterhouseCoopers. I want you guys to keep in mind that PricewaterhouseCoopers is the auditor that has a direct control not over the Central Bank of Russia, but this organization has control over many central banks around the world. PricewaterhouseCoopers is a tool of the Illuminati to control Russian Central Bank. If you have very high interest rates in your country, it is very likely that this organization has something to do with it. Since 1991, PricewaterhouseCoopers still is an organization that directly controls the Russian Central Bank. This organization is a strategic tool of the Illuminati and the main focus is to keep the interest rate in Russia very high. The search of PricewaterhouseCoopers office in Moscow clearly shows a very strong message that Putin is getting ready to take over the control of the Russian Central Bank in a very short period of time. IMF boss Christine Lagarde must stand a trial for her role in a 400 million payout case while she was a French finance minister back in 2008. The core de causation, one of France's courts of last resort, is accusing Ms. Lagarde of negligence, which resulted in a misuse of public funds by a third party. The IMF board in the meantime said that the organization is confident that Ms. Lagarde is able to carry out her duties effectively following the ruling. According to the Defense Secretary Ashton Carter, 
Russia is a number one threat to the United States national security. And if you look at the United States foreign policy, it states that Russia must be destroyed. According to the US foreign policy, it talks not about the economic collapse, but it talks about the total destruction of Russia to protect the national interests of the United States. We saw a military coup in Turkey. In the coming days and maybe in the coming weeks, there will be a military coup in Russia. The best analogy that I can give you is that an official number of arrests in Turkey after the military coup was about 66,000. Unofficial numbers can reach up to 100,000 arrests of very high profile people in Turkish government apparatus. The truth is that 95% of those people had nothing to do with the military coup in Turkey. The vast majority of those people who have been arrested in Turkey, they were so called the fifth column inside the Turkish government. Erdogan did a massive cleanup of the Turkish government apparatus from the fifth column who worked for Washington. Putin is about to do the same thing in Moscow. Putin is cleaning up the Russian government apparatus from the fifth column who worked for Washington. In Russia, the same thing will happen in few weeks that happened in Turkey. Breaking News TV YouTube channel will keep you updated with the real news. Scenario number 3 is that Putin's backed people did not win the Russian elections. That means Illuminati's backed people won against Putin. And in Moscow there will be the same thing taking place as happened in Ukraine or the most recent example what happened in Turkey. In simple terms, Illuminati will defeat Putin and Russia will be destroyed completely from within. Why scenario number 2 and scenario number 3 is very important to you and me? Because all this fighting during the Russian elections and the elections in the United States is the fight for the power which group will have the total control in Russia and in the United States over the nuclear button. Now let's pretend that Illuminati's back people won the Russian elections. That means Illuminati will have the full control over the nuclear weapons in Russia and in the United States. All that means one world government after 90% of us will disappear from this planet. When you start to understand this game, it becomes clear to you what is about to happen. It's elite. Those assets are valued over 1 trillion US dollars. World government is in very, very deep shit. I don't normally use, quote, profanity to describe things, but when the shoe fits, wear it. A rose by any other name is still a rose. Well, the New World Order being in deep trouble by any other name is still the same thing. World government has been constructed by a consortium of less than 20 banking families who have openly announced their plan to establish a one world government based on... It wasn't enough to get trillions in banker bailout money when they engineered the financial collapse of 2008. They want 100 trillion every decade in carbon taxes alone. Just Google that. Davos Group wants 100 trillion in carbon taxes every decade. You'll get the London Independent. You'll get their statements. So I love it. I want to congratulate the whore media that has a 6% trust rate in Associated Press poll and the Congress has a 9% approval rating in Gallup polls. I want to congratulate you for cutting your frickin' noses off despite your face. The whole world is moving closer and closer, but there is one issue with this scenario. It will allow Russia to rise as a superpower. And this scenario is equal to TS elite and one world government's total destruction in the very short term. The second scenario is that if Putin's back people will win the Russian elections in the coming days, that means reshuffling of the Russian White House. 
Russian Duma, which means Ted Dead to the fifth column inside the Russian White House. That means privatization of all assets in Russia, which belong to the UK, EU and the United States. At this moment in our history, there are only three scenarios for not only Putin, but for the whole world. Watch one of those three scenarios unfolding in the coming weeks and months. First scenario is that Putin during an economic forum in St. Petersburg was talking about the Russia's position. Putin directly and indirectly was saying that if the United States will leave Russia alone and stop interfering in Russia's business, then there will be no direct conflict between Russia and the United States. On an anti-human, post-industrial, globalist ideology. This is such a triumph over them that all their hoaxes, all their lies, all their disinformation saying none of this planetary government stuff exists. The fact that all their propaganda has failed shows how much trouble they're in and how much credibility they've lost. Herman von Rupi and other former heads of the EU have openly admitted it's a world government. They write editorial articles calling for planetary government and carbon taxes. But then they think you're so ill-informed and so stupid. They come out on the news and say, tin foil hats, none of it exists. There's no ruling elite, nobody's screwing you over are valued over 1 trillion US dollars. World government is in very, very deep shit. I don't normally use quote profanity to describe things, but when the shoe fits, wear it. A rose by any other name is still a rose. Well, the New World Order being in deep trouble by any other name is still the same thing. World government has been constructed by a consortium of less than 20 banking families who have openly announced their plan to establish a one world government based on an anti-human post-industrial and the financial collapse 2008. They want 100 trillion every decade in carbon taxes alone. Just Google that. Davos Group wants 100 trillion in carbon taxes every decade. You'll get the London Independent. You'll get their statements. So I love it. I want to congratulate the whore media that has a 6% trust rate in Associated Press poll and the Congress that has a 9% approval rating in Gallup polls. I want to congratulate you for cutting your frickin' noses off despite your face. The whole world is moving closer and closer towards World War III as the United States continue to push Russia and Vladimir Putin At this moment in our history, there are only three scenarios for not only Putin, but for the whole world. Watch one of those three scenarios unfolding in the coming weeks and months. First scenario is that Putin during an economic forum in St. Petersburg was talking about the Russia's position. Putin directly and indirectly was saying that if the United States will leave Russia alone and stop interfering in Russia's business, then there will be no direct conflict between Russia and the United States. But there is one globalist ideology. This is such a triumph over them that all their hoaxes, all their lies, all their disinformation saying none of this planetary government stuff exists. The fact that all their propaganda has failed shows how much trouble they're in and how much credibility they've lost. Herman von Rupi and other former heads of the EU have openly admitted it's a world government. They write editorial articles calling for planetary government and carbon taxes. But then they think you're so ill-informed and so stupid. They come out on the news and say, tin foil hats, none of it exists. There's no ruling elite, nobody's screwing you over. It wasn't enough to get trillions in banker bailout money when they engineered- One issue with this scenario. It will allow Russia to rise as a superpower. And this scenario is equal to TS elite and one world government's total destruction in the very short term. The second scenario is that if Putin's back people will win the Russian elections, 
in the coming days. That means reshuffling of the Russian White House or Russian Duma, which means the death to the fifth column inside the Russian White House. That means privatization of all assets in Russia, which belong to the UK, EU and the United States elite. Those assets